I wonder what those balls are. You've got a silvery thing at the top and these spheres. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, let's do it. So we're just about to do a map or whatever that is. So the alignment's a little out, but it's showing a bigger area. Let's see what it sees. Let's see what it sees. So, what are we seeing? Mm. Aluminium, magnesium, iron, silicon, sulfur, potassium, calcium. Okay, titanium popping in there and out. Now it's gone. Sodium, obviously oxygen and carbon. So, what is what? Uh, and the percentages. And that is coming out at about nearly 10% iron after two minutes of processing carbon or charcoal in the processor. Obviously there will be potassium in the wood, um, but it would appear that Every single element there is the George Oshawa reaction chains. Pretty much. Yeah, pretty much every one of the reaction products you'd expect from George Oshawa. So it'd be very interesting to put five nines carbon in here and see if you get the same result. There's the sulfur, that's two oxygen 16s making sulfur 32. Your iron is coming from carbon and nitrogen from the air fusing to make 27 aluminium. And you can see the aluminium down the bottom, but then the two aluminiums join to make iron 54. And this is just live, this is exactly as <laughs> we're doing the sampling. It says uh, on the SEM, scanning, and here is the live data as I'm seeing. It's not live for you, but um, this is just what we're seeing. So, be interesting to look at these various balls and see what's what. You can obviously see where the carbon is. That's the carbon tape in the background. And we're going to look at, say, this ball up here and see what that is. So this blob, which is quite silvery looking. And, and these spheres, and there seems to be a lot of spheres, and I think George was saying what happens when the metals get formed, they conglomerate in the plasma, then they get too heavy to be sustained in the plasma, and they drop to the bottom. I imagine this ball was a lot of these little balls that were still molten, and it fused into a large ball. So I expect these little balls to be the same as this big ball, but this looks like it's something different. So yeah, essentially everything you're seeing is George Oshawa. The only thing that I'm seeing there, which is probably below threshold, is the manganese. Um, yeah. So yeah, the more sampling we're doing, we're going for a long sample run here, right? Yes. And uh, I, I put the analysis stopped. Uh, well, leave it, leave it going for a little bit longer. Let's get the certainty as high as possible, mm -hmm. yeah? 
Um, <clears throat> small amount of copper popping in and out there. Okay. Yeah, literally it's all the Oshawa chain reaction products. Nothing but. Obviously carbon and oxygen is the highest there. You would expect that being open to the air, you're going to get carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide or whatever. Carbon and oxygen. Oxygen is on everything else, I guess, so it's oxidizing. The iron would be oxidizing. Um, Okay, so I think let's pause that sampling. And there's the map. It's interesting because so there's two kind of little pockets of stuff. There was these spheres that all conglomerate into one area. And then there is a load of bits that look like fragments of wood. So we're going to go and have a look at that as well. Why not? Oh, you're getting good at that. <laughs> so Yana here is drawing around this uh, silvery, yellowy blob here we've got. And we'll see what concentration is. Yeah, why not? So this one looks like it's silicon. Uh, okay, so we've got much higher concentrations here in the second one of silicon. Mm -hmm. Calcium, potassium. Because the silicon could be coming from the quartz, we have to bear that in mind. The quartz resonates, obviously, has silicon in it. Um, so let's see what that comes out. So the iron's much lower concentration in that. Let's see what spectrum 2 comes out as that when we look at that. Of course, there is wood in here, so we can expect maybe to see some, I don't know, maybe they won't see some phosphorus. Anyway, um, Eagley said that he'd never really seen the phosphorus, and it's not surprising because it would probably go, but um, we do seem to be seeing phosphorus, which gives us the full... Oh, we've switched on to looking at the uh, other sample area. Let's see what that is. So, this looks like a more lumpy thing spectrum 2 what are we seeing what are we seeing well there we go it's basically mostly iron <laughs> oh dear oh george you're not wrong <laughs> so this is quite exciting for a two minute run in the basic nova reactor this isn't a supernova reactor where we can change the frequency and manage the gases this is a basic nova reactor but uh what you're seeing in that metal blob this spherical metal blob is mostly iron in fact it looks like it's mostly iron and oxygen which is not surprising given it's breathing the air but pretty much every other element yeah, every single element there, every single element. The manganese keeps popping in and out. I need to look at whether George Oshawa chains can create manganese, but absolutely everything else is just straight George Oshawa. And it's doing the samples now. So George, congratulations. Um, I'll hold my judgment until we can run some five nines carbon. Five nines carbon would be very important uh, to test. Did you make some spectrum from other place? Uh, I think we should probably go and look at the wood areas now. Uh, yeah, yes. elsewhere. Yeah, can can we go and have a much closer look at the the iron and the silica and just do some SE images much much closer? So go right in, mm -hmm. high, high yes. magnification on this and this. Yeah. Okay. 